Speakers at a rally at Parliament today intend to remind MPs of New Zealand's Christian heritage. It's been organised for the first sitting day of the year to protest Speaker Trevor Mallard's decision to remove a reference to Jesus Christ from the parliamentary prayer. Chair of the Wellington Council of Churches and former MP Gordon Copeland says the decision's a rejection of New Zealand's history and culture. We have prayed a prayer at Parliament concluding with the words through Jesus Christ our Lord since 1854, the very first day of our Parliament, until Trevor Mallard changed it without any input from the people. Gordon Copeland expects hundreds of people to attend the rally. Peter, good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Good, good. Um, I, I guess I have a question first. Um, I, I was wondering, do you, do you feel um, this is a Christian country or is this a secular country that is welcoming to all Christians? I'll, answer, uh, all that, I'll answer that in a second. Um, but what do you think? Well, I think that this is a secular. Well, I don't think this is a secular country. I think this is a, a country which which has a, a certain laws, specifically the Bill of Rights and the Human Rights Act, and and under the, that legislation, and 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 I think under the principle that most people of New Zealand would agree with, we should have freedom of belief. And I don't understand why you think that the 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 Parliament should should uh, support one particular belief over others. I realise that there's a history of this happening, but, but in, a, in a secular country today where we see, and, and you know, you've already had a caller refer to Islam, trying to, to, trying to, trying to make the argument that we should, we, we should support Christianity for the same reason that I, I didn't even quite understand the argument. Um, I mean, the, the, the example that the Saudis and, and other Islamic uh, countries do of, of having the state support religion and, and you know, uh, expressly have relig- religious police, um, that is fundamentally incompatible with a secular country that supports a freedom of belief. And I don't understand how you can how you can say on one hand that you you support Christian prayer in Parliament um, and to the exclusion of uh, of others, and at the same time believe that we should have a secular state. So I'm asking you, you know, how do you how how do you square those two things? Well, if you were paying attention. I said it didn't matter whether you were for it or against it. It's the way that it's it's been removed that is the principle at at, um, at discussion point here, as far as I'm concerned. Now, having dealt with that, tell me this: where in the greater scheme of things does the does the prayer as it has been restrict anybody else from having their own beliefs? I think it's an indication of of the state having a particular point of view there is no okay, okay, there is no, 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 no com- there is no okay. compulsion there is okay, no comp- hang compulsion. on wanna- there is no compulsion to believe anything you've, you're right. free to believe whatever you want right is that what you believe then tell me why why are 40 percent of schools primary schools in new zealand teaching religious instruction expressly christian and why is it that that parents do not have the right of informed consent why is that well they do no, they don't, and you should know the law. They don't have the right of informed consent. They can opt out if they discover it, but the reality is that many parents don't discover it until their, parent, their, their children are being indoctrinated. Well, is that's the reality of it? Is, and hang on, is the reality of it? Is the reality of it that the parents who don't have a clue aren't being the parents that they should be? All oh, right, so we're going to be victim blaming now. So we're going to say, no, no, they shouldn't. They should be informed expressly by the school. How are they going to know what's going on in the school unless they, the, the school tell them? I mean, they find out when their children come crying to, the, to them thinking, you know, oh, my God, my parents are going to go to hell. And that's what they're being told by the school or by, by being told by the religious instruction that, that, that has been allowed into the school. So, so I mean, OK. I think the, you the, exaggerate the to some considerable degree. We absolutely do not exaggerate. We have hundreds of reports of this. The, the the issue of secularism in New Zealand is extremely important, and the, and and the prayer and prayer and government. I mean, yes, it would be nice for the government to walk the talk in terms of actually obeying the Human Rights Act. Right? We want them to be to to actually follow the legislation and the intent of that legislation. Okay. Right? So, and, so and tell frankly, me, frankly, you, I think you that, tell me. You know, if you're taking a position that we shouldn't be doing that, and we should be making people who are not religious, and, and that's like. A majority, uh, almost a majority in this country now, you know, over 40 percent. Um, you know, the, the Christians are, are certainly in the minority now. Are you saying that we should make the majority of people feel as if they don't belong in the country? 
I've never said anything like that at all. But that's what that's the implication the imp- when you're saying that, that you're fighting to have Christianity put in like we're some kind of theocracy. We're not a theocracy. We shouldn't we shouldn't be having prayers that are specific, you know, and we had someone talking about, you know, uh, you know, taking Jesus out, and that's all that's happened here. We're taking Jesus out. We're still, we're still, the, 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 the prayer still exists, and it's still to a God, right? Personally, hold I it, prefer hold that it. What, know, what God? Well, well t- typically it's the Abrahamic God, which would include the, the, the Jewish, the Islamic, and the Christian God. Um, I think that you, uh, I think you're coming up a bit short on information with regard to that. What, how do you mean? Well, you're suggesting it's the same God. It is. Says who? The Torah. Okay, so Christianity, do they have the Old Testament? No, I'm talking about Islam. No, no, okay, well, Islam came after Christianity. You no, but, I'm, I'm, but you're saying it's the same God. I'm suggesting to you, you that you're, 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 you're no, misplacing, they, you're misplacing they, your faith. They, they worship the same God, right? So, So... Well, there's a, the there's a, there is a massive debate over that. Well, well you know, you, you can deba- debate all you like, but, I mean, that's the, just the history, right? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not going to get into the debate of that. I mean, you, you know, we have our positions. The, the, the discussion what, what's now... This? What, is, what, what, you and I have our positions. Now, the, 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 discussion, the discussion now is about whether New Zealand should be a secular state and whether it should be inclusive of all people. And, and you know, I, I think you and, and the, the people making the protests today uh, suggesting that we should be some kind of theocracy where, where Christianity should have special privileges. They already How did you tell me, tell me something, Paul? Uh, Peter? Peter, Paul? Peter. Um, tell, me, tell me something. Where did you, where and why did you come to this conclusion or this form, form the attitude that you have? Why did I have, I don't think we, well, basically I, you know, I've experienced, um, well, there are two, two, two essential points that, I, that, that I've got involved with this mission. Um, the, the first one was when I was trying to do an affidavit and was forced to swear an oath on the Bible. And, I mean, that was a bit of a niggle and it, and it kind of got me uh, annoyed, um, especially since that should be illegal. Um, the, the second thing was when I heard of um, when I was involved with parents who reported being ostracised from their communities because they didn't let their children go to religious instruction classes, and that's when um, I was involved in, in starting the Secular Education Network because there was a manifest harm being done to people, and, and this is really what I care about. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not an angry atheist who just who just wants to oppose religion for the sake of it. The, the issue here was that there were real harms being done to children who, who were being upset and marginalised and ostracised from their communities over belief. And the, the, the New Zealand school system, I was told or believed until, uh, you know, until several years ago, was that it was, a, that it was universal, it was free. Oh, we can discuss that another time. Um, but it was also secular in the sense that it was inclusive of all children. But that's not the reality in New Zealand. The reality is that children are ostracised from their peers because of religion. And, and okay, we're all growing ups. If you go into Parliament and you hear a prayer, I'm not going to be crying necessarily. But I think the, the principle is that we want to be walking the talk. You know, if we're talking about a Bill of Rights where we have freedom of religion, what's the state got to do with... with um, with promoting a specific religion when it opens. Okay, so so just to wrap this up, because I'm going to, to wrap it up, the prayer has been the same since uh, since Parliament was established. We accept that? Yep. So under what auspices should it be changed? Under whose authority? Well, presumably the, the, the government has the authority to, to, to change it. I'm asking you who, who should... Who should make that decision if if this is a democracy and uh, and changes some people want change how should did you it, vote how, for a representative how did should you vote it, for a representative how should it be done well we, we all know how it's done right we we vote for representatives and they make the decisions the representatives yes so what now, re- remember the what, thing what, what so no remember no, the no i haven't got time to, i haven't got time to conti- continue i just want you to know i want i want you to tell me who should have the authority to make that change in something that is that is established, traditional? Very simple, the government of the day. 
So the, okay. governing, the governing party, the, the government, the individual, so the, the, indi- the individual who who is in charge of uh, of, of parliamentary think, procedure, think, as in the speaker, should be able to do it on his own. I, I think the. So I I'll, think so I'll be, leave you with this thought, Peter. On that basis, should the speaker be allowed to establish Satan as the target for the prayer? Just asking. Thanks for the call. Good conversation. Nineteen past nine.